we made our presentation today, it's basically contained in the submission that I just handed out. You have what the board has. Uh, we're hoping the board does the right thing. And uh, we're gonna leave it in the hands of the board right now. Steve, what is the right thing? Well, the right thing is to make the determination that the coach not only did not know, but could not have known of this scheme that was going on. Uh, and the right thing to do is to bring the coach back. Uh, he's not terminated right now, and he should not be terminated. He should be brought back if the university wants to negotiate for him to leave uh, at a later time. We can talk about that, but this is not the right way to do this. The coach did not engage in any of this activity. He didn't know about the activity. I think we made a very compelling case to the board. Uh, I think they listened attentively, and we'll just have to wait and see what they say. Steve, do you deny that Coach Patino was coach number two then in that criminal well, look, I'm not going to, I, I, I am not the FBI, so I didn't write that. But we presented our case as if Coach, uh, coach Patino was coach number two. But I would advise you to, uh, when reporting on this, is to look at the submission that we made on what has actually been said about coach number two. There's this idea that, well, he's coach number two, there must be something nefarious. Take a close look at what we've submitted and what they allege actually that coach number two did and what he didn't do. There's no allegation that the coach, there's not evidence to indicate that coach number two either knew or could have known about this, this scam that's being run by these uh, uh, characters in this, in this scheme. Did Coach Patino lose control of his program? No, that's, that's ridiculous. Of course not. So how would you lose that? I think that's a, I think that's a ridiculous question. I'm not going to address that's that. A, uh, but one of the reasons that you can get rid of him is if how? he loses control of the program. Why is that a ridiculous question? I just said he did not lose control of the program. How, what, what, how would this indicate he's lost control of his program? If the people, order, what, what what if they made the argument in there that regardless of what he knew or didn't know that this happened on his watch and so he's ultimately responsible? Yeah, how, well, how do you, you know, address that? when you say something happened on his watch. Uh, you need to read, number one, coach's contract. Nobody can guarantee the activity of everyone under them. If that's the case, if this happened on coach's watch, it happened on President Postal's watch. It happened on Chairman Grissom's watch. You cannot guarantee the conduct of other people. You can do your very best to make sure they comply, and coach did that. You can do your absolute very best to monitor what they do. You can do your very best to instruct them to do the right thing. And that's what Coach Patino did. But people who set out to, to commit a fraud, and part of the fraud is to cover up their tracks, they're going to get away with stuff like this. This time they got caught. But look, we shouldn't make the same rush to judgment that Duke did several years ago. Uh, we should calmly look at this, unemotionally look at this, let the facts drive this. Again, if you look at the submission that we made, I think you'll see that the right thing to do is for everyone to step back, take the emotion out of this. I get the emotion, believe me, I live in the community. But we ought to step back, take a deep breath, and see what the facts are, and, and not take action until we know what the facts are. Steve, can you gauge what kind of reaction you believe you got from the uh, board? I think they acted like they were listening attentively, and that's really all I can say. So I'm going to leave it now with the board. How long do you think it'll take for you to have an answer for whether they bought your case today? Well, we weren't selling a case today. We were making a case today, so I don't know if they bought anything. But I don't know how long it'll take. They, What's they the comparison? Around. No, no, we're, we're, it's, it, it's in their hands. They've got a lot to digest, I think. So we'll see. What's the comparison with Duke, do you think? Well, I mean, with the with the Duke matter, if you'll remember, as soon as the allegation came out, it's fire everybody, fire the coach, fire the assistant coaches, put the program on suspension, and it turned out to all be a hoax, that it was a scam that was being run. Yeah, but the Duke and that, cross team, you mean? Yes. Okay. And that, as we put on evidence today, and that could be exactly what's going on here. We just don't know. I can't say that that's what's going on. I can say we can't rule that out. There seems to be plenty of evidence that that is what's going on, though. And we right. presented proof of that fact. So thanks a lot. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thank you.